Angry Birds VR Isle of Pigs. Is it good? Yeah. This is the perfect game for any Angry Birds fans. It's exactly the same as playing it on your mobile device, except now you can do it in VR. There's over 100 levels to play and each level is completely unique and needs to be approached differently. I love Angry Birds games and this is no different. You get a catapult in one hand, the Angry Birds will jump into said catapult and then with your other hand, you pull it back and fire them towards the pigs. When you pull the Angry Bird back, the game gives you a trajectory of where the Angry Bird will go and it's very easy to line up your shots. Your objective is to destroy all the pigs in a level. You get a star ranking at the end of each level between one and three stars. This is great for replayability if you want to get three stars on every level, which is very hard and I've not done it yet. Being in VR and toppling the structure of a single good hit will never get old. Especially if they're falling slowly. You're watching going, yeah, go on, go on, go on, yes. It's truly exciting to watch. Some levels require different vantage points. There's little white circles around the levels that let you move around the structures so that you can get a better angle. But because you're in VR, there's nothing stopping you from just moving around in the level yourself by just walking around. I had to do this a few times to land the perfect shots. If you've played the original Angry Birds game before, you'll recognize the birds that are used in this game. Each level has different ones. There's the regular red bird. There's the little blue bird that splits into three birds. There's the yellow one that can speed up. And then last but certainly not least, there's the bomb bird, which will blow up on command. It's so much fun to get a bomb bird into a tight gap of a pig's fortification, only to blow it up sending pieces flying everywhere. There is an issue with the controls however. It uses the trigger button for too many things. You'll use the trigger to grab and pull the birds back in the catapult, you'll use it to move around in the level, and you'll also use it to use your different birds special abilities. And while it's a minor issue, it always frustrated me when I would go to use a bird special ability and it would do so, but it would also teleport me around the level. So sometimes I didn't get to see my shot or where it hit. But I'm guessing the controls are very simple for people who don't really play games or are very young. In this game you have the ability to create your own levels and share them with the world. You can also play levels that other people have created, so there's a lot of replayability past the base game. A lot of the top ranked levels are very fun, but most consist of knocking down enormous structures just to see how they fall. The soundtrack is very nice and upbeat and very on brand for an Angry Birds game, and never got repetitive. That was Angry Birds VR I Love Pigs, and I give it a 9 out of 10.